Colts, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge, break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. Look at this sword, so sharp and shiny. I wish I could cut down two dogs about some month ago. You'll be staining that beauty with filthy Montague blood, Samson. How dare you mock our house, you low life Capulets? What did you just say? You heard him, dog. Are you suggesting we fight? <laughs> you weaklings could never beat us. We'll see about that. Stop, stop. Put down your sword. Shut up, Ben Volio, and meet your death. Calm down, Tibalt. I'm here to keep the peace. Peace? I hate word as I hate Montago. You're fighting a shot, Tibalt. Come and fight with your match. Stop it! You're going to get yourself hurt! You! You will not take part in this! Let go! How dare you start another brawl of this fight! Capulet, Montagu, put down your swords! If you ever disturb the peace of Brown again, you will pay with your lives. Mark my words. Now go. Nephew, who started the fight this time? It's two of your men, sir, and Tibalt came to clear the fight. Ben Volio, where is Romeo? Did you see him today? I'm glad he wasn't here to see the fight. Good morning, cousin. Sad hours feel so slow. Was that my father after you? It was. Tell me, what's making our sad? In love? Out. Of love. Out of her favor? I feel like I've lost myself. I love her, but she doesn't long for me like I long for her. Who is she, cuz? Rosaline, the beautiful maid that I cannot have. Don't worry, Romeo. I'll teach you how to forget this girl. Nurse? Where's my daughter? Julia? Where's Julia? Call her for me. Julia? 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 Child, it's your mother. Come now. <laughs> yes, mother. I'm here. Julia, I have to talk to you. You're a woman now. You know that, don't you? Not a woman. Well, she's nearly a woman. Nearly, but not yet. Nurse, I know my daughter's age. Tell me, Juliet, what do you think of marriage? I never think of it. Well, think of it now. Mothers are younger than you. I became your mother when I was at your age. Camp Paris wants you for his wife and love. Camp Paris? So, daughter, can you love the man? I hardly know him. Well, then learn to know him at the feast tonight. Get to know him and see if you can be happy with him. I will try to like him, Mother, if that's what you wish. Very good. Now go and get ready for the ball tonight. Hey, girls. I hear that Rosaline will be on the grand feast tonight. I'm pretty sure she will look lovely then. But it's the Capulets. You know that we're not allowed here. No, it's a masquerade ball. Hmm. And no one will ever know us. And I'll help you to get over with Rosaline.
the river of love, surely to the sea, darling. So we go. Take my whole life too, all for I can Falling in love with you. My lady Julia. Count Paris. May I have this dance? You really are a beautiful. Drown in ecstasy. My heart beats so fast. Palm to palm is a palmless kiss, and I can see yours fit mine to it. Madame, your mother is looking for you. May I ask, who is your mother? Her mother is the owner of the house, sir. She's a Capulet. Dear God, the daughter of Ariyabad. Come here, nurse. What's the name of the gentleman? His name is Romeo and the Montague, the only son of your great enemy. I would disobey my father and deny my name because of my love for you. I'll no longer be a Capulet. I'll take you at your word. I'll never be Romeo if that means you will call me your love. Why did you come here? You know very well that this will get you killed. Only if they catch me. I believe that nothing can stop my love. My love for you can compare to my words and express. Juliet! Go and sleep well, Romeo. Dream of me. Good night, Juliet, and dream of me. There is nature's mother and her tongue. Within the petal trim of the small flower, poison has residence and medicine power. Boiled and mixed, the smell will bring us help. Good morning, Father. Romeo. Oh, Father. Now my heart belongs to the beautiful daughter of the Lord of Capulet. Even though she's a Capulet? I don't care about the ancient blood feud of our families. It has been centuries and that rivalry should be buried and forgotten. Well, if this could carry all before, I think I'll see a chance and the city strife. I'll grant your wish, and I'll be your wedding priest.
I pray they have been smile upon you, son, and do not punish us with the later sorrow. When I look at her in the eyes, I know for sure that she's the one that I want to go for. Her. I see it in her face that she feels it the same. This violent passion can have violent ends, Romeo. Love too fast can prove falser than love too slow. Good morning to my dearest confessor. Romeo, give things to see you here. I thank him with all my heart. I can tell that love is limitless with you, Romeo. Come along with me, for we will make a short work of our hearts in the Holy Church shall join too into one. Dearly beloved, you have come together into the house of the church, so that in the presence of the church ministers in the community, since it's your intention to enter the covenant of the holy matrimony, join, join your right hands and declare your consent before God in this church. I, Romeo, take you, Juliet, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Julia, take your own to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, and to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I love you. Always and always. It's Ra. Good day, gentlemen. Can I speak to one of you? One of us and only to speak. I sent a letter to Romeo. He's done something he shouldn't have. Hey, Balk Mercutio. This is a public place. One more battle and you will sentence to die. Let's, Let's go. go. If you die anyway, I want to kill him myself. I'm not afraid of any man, much less you. Step aside. Here comes my man. Seems to be the problem here, Ben. How oh, dare you, Romeo? Talay so much as a glance to my cousin with your filthy Montagu eyes. Don't talk to him as if he was a target. I don't want to start any trouble, Sibalt. Draw your sword, Sibalt, or I'll kill you. You ask for it. Sibalt, Marcusio, stop this fight. Mercutio! Avenge me, Romeo. It was our honor being your friend. Mercutio! Mercutio! Bad! Tybalt, my nephew. He is my brother's child. See how blood is spilled of my dear kinsman. Prince, we know you are just. For blood of ours, shed blood of Montague, Romeo must die. Benvolio, who began this bloody fight. Tybalt, here's lame and I was witness. Romeo tried to stop them, 
but Tybalt killed Mercutio. So Romeo was blinded with rage and went after him. And he killed Tybalt. He is the cousin of a Montague, therefore affection makes him false. He is lying, my prince. I beg justice for Tybalt. Romeo slew him. He slew Mercutio, who here is really Not Romeo, prince. He was Mercutio's friend. Tybalt should be the one punished, but now he is slain and lovely. At this offense, I sentence him not to death. Was it really Romeo who killed Tybalt? It was! I hate to say it, but it was him. The princess exiled him. Shame on you, Romeo! Pierce, mind your tongue! Are you taking the side of your cousin's murderer? I'm taking the side of my husband who still lives. Who has worse news than Tybalt's death? Worse than your cousin's death? My husband is banished, far from me, while I mourn my cousin's death. How do you expect me to endure both laws? I promise to find him and bring him back for his last goodbye. How are you, Juliet? I'm not well, mother. Still grieving for your cousin's death? We all grieve for him, dear. It was that arrogant fool, Romeo. I curse him and all of the Montagues. No, mother. I forgive him with all my heart. I... Shh. Don't worry. We will have vengeance. <clears throat> Enough of this bad news. I have a good one for you. Your father has arranged a day of joy for you. What day is that? Three days from now, you are to wed Count Paris. Here comes your father. Tell him how happy you are. Go on. I do not. Father, I beg you. I do not want to marry. Do this to be him, wretch. Oh my you goodness. You will marry him. Or so help me, I will disown you. Please have mercy on the child. She is not a child anymore. Hold your tongue, fool, or I'll have it out. Come now. I'm sure she will marry. <laughs> oh, Juliet. I understand your grief. I think of ways to help, but I know your father's. Will is fixed tomorrow. You shall marry the count. Please, Fire Lawrence, if you can't help me, then I have no choice but to end my life. I can't live without Romeo, till death was part. Now, here we are, apart, so all we're missing is death. If you don't have any ways, then I'll exchange my honor for my life. Julia, please. There's hope, but it requires the strength of will. So baby, if we're going down, I don't want to remember That I was there to watch us fall and learn that nothing's forever Then, go home and agree to marry Paris. Tomorrow is your wedding day. Now, tonight, make sure you sleep alone. Send your prying nurse out of the room. Lay down to her bed and take this veil and drink every drop of the juice. It will make your pulse very faint and it look like you're dead. It will last for 26 hours and then you will wake up as it from a dream. In the morning, Paris will send his bride Ranbriel on the Capulet's vault. 
Well, I will write the news for Romeo. He will be there. Then he will wake you with a kiss. Then both of you will leave this place together and be happy with your life together. Thank you, Fire Lawrence. Now, go. I will send a letter to my lord and your husband. A girl never to return, my son. Last night, your bride was stolen from me. What? Her saying is dead? That is now my hero. My daughter, he has married. This day, she promised all my happiness. But now, she shows signs as this. I am divorced, hated, wrong. Killed by death, but death is not easy. My lady, my lady, save your soul now. Free and safe from hell in heaven. Now, sacred to the church. First, the slave. Beginning the plans we made for joyful celebration turns instead to mark our sorrow with grief. Glad to see you, Cousin Ben. What's news in Verona? Romeo, Juliet is dead. What? Juliet is dead? Her body sleeps among the capulet. This is just a story you heard, Ben. I saw her inside the, inside the vault and I came here as soon as possible to tell you. Her husband doesn't mean any letters from the prior. No matter, get the horses ready, Ben. We'll go there at once. Let me go alone, Benvolio. Take this letter to my parents tomorrow. Very well, my cousin. What are you going to do? Look at my lady. And now be gone. Love is bitter sweet, Benvolio. for words. I see your relief before your ultimately death and you see freed after. However, I can say the same for myself. All I feel right now is deep sorrow, guilt, grief, and regret in a big empty hole in my heart will you once was. Don't worry my love, my wife. My children, I'll join you soon for a life without you. It's not living at all. Because the truth is, not even that can do us apart. Romeo awaits for Julia. 
in her tomb full of sorrow. Why do you look sir? And joy. How can he say joy if his love and wife lies in the grave? What is that? Juliet. Romeo. I knew you'd come for me, Romeo. Juliet, you're alive. How? I... What do you mean? This is all part of the friar's plan. Wait. Your hands are cold. And you're breathing very faintly. Are you ill? I feel so much better knowing that you're alive, Juliet. But I didn't know that I thought I lost you. I'd rather die, Juliet. I don't understand. Romeo, what happened? We... We drunk this? No. No, Romeo, please. No. This is not the end, my love. This is only the beginning. Oh no, we're too late! Lord, have mercy! Now we know how all this came about to end. I pardoned all the faith. Their own forbidden love, murder. Come yet to take lessons from their deaths. Capulet and Dagon, look at what they've done with your endless rivalry. Heaven's found the means to kill your joy with love. Lord Montague, give me your name. Capulet. A blooming peace this morning with dreams. The sun for sorrow will not show its head. Go now and talk of these sad things, for there never was story more than tragic than this girl and hero of your
up your mind I don't need no one's thoughts Can you 